Welcome back to 307 Reacts. I'm Chris, and this is Jessup. You probably can't see him right now uh, because... For uh, security purposes, and, you know, his mother's a really nice lady, but, uh, you know, she just asked that we not put him on camera. But he is here. You'll be able to Hi. hear his audio. And, uh, yeah, it's my little brother, Jessup. So, you you want to shout out anybody at home? Mm, no. <laughs> no? Okay. Not really. Nobody that I know really watches y'all, so. So, you know, um, you know uh, voice play, right? You yeah. You like voice play? What, what's one of your favorites? Uh, probably Dream On. Or whatever, Dream On? Or that cover of the Imagine Dragons song. I can't remember. Oh, what yeah. It is. That was really good. That was a good one. Well, today we're checking out In the Air Tonight uh, featuring Jay Nunn and uh, acapella Phil Collins cover. So, we're going to check it out. And uh, don't forget, down in the description below, there's links for our Patreon as well as uh, just other ways that you guys can support us. Um, be sure to check those out. And then, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Ready? Yeah. All right. think so far this really nice it is <laughs> i like i like how they add in kind of like a little glitch yeah S at some points it's like glitching in and out kind of yeah that's really cool. make sure you speak real quick you can get right up on these things like that yeah. make sure they can hear you um one of the things i noticed is if you listen to the bass down here in the bottom yeah he it sounds like he's holding that out all in one yeah, it deal with like no it, breath, it just, which is... It sounds like he's just holding for so long. <laughs> I don't know how they can do that. It's so weird. I, it's it's a lot of breathing techniques. Yeah. So, like, a lot of people, like, when they breathe in, they'll... And you see their shoulders come up? Yeah. Well, when you sing, you don't want to breathe that way. You already want to have your shoulders up. And when you suck in, you want your stomach to come out. Yeah. So, you want to breathe through your diaphragm. And when you do that, you can hold out longer notes like that. So yeah, li listen, listen to the bass in the bottom of this. This is. It sounds like it's all one breath, but here we're gonna listen again. Waiting for this moment for all my life. Oh Lord, can you feel it coming in the air tonight? Might have went back a little too far, but that's fine. Oh Lord, Let's see. oh Lord, oh, right here. Lord. That was cool. told me yeah. you were drowning I would not lend a hand no, I wouldn't lend I've a seen hand. your face before my friend but I don't know if you know who I am well I was there and I saw what you did so <laughs> <Whoa. that. laughs> yeah that, good old foghorn jeff coming in wow, here killing that was it crazy. Uh, right what would you think of the the beatboxer during that little section it was insane <laughs> it's, yeah it's pretty cool huh <laughs> yeah. i i don't i don't know how he does those fills but that is just uh, unreal mm -hmm. take it back <laughs> but i don't know if you know who i am <laughs> Sorry to pause again, but let me say this. The last um, 
the last voice play video we reacted to, we mentioned something about how we felt like for a long time, especially when we were first coming into voice play, that uh, Ellie was kind of the... Um, Which one's that one? Now, Ellie's the guy who was singing that lead line here. The real um, That guy. Him? Yeah. Where Ellie kind of had the the weakest voice out of all of them. Not that he was necessarily bad. It's just mm-hmm. he wasn't quite to the same level as them. We've watched him grow over the past couple of years. And this is another great example of, like, I think if he would have done this song two, three years ago, I don't think his vocal would have sound near as clean as what it does now. Yeah, it's, I could tell in some of the other videos mm-hmm. that I've saw of them. Yeah. You can tell that his he's gotten better. Yeah, yeah. And uh, all of them have, but I yeah. think I think the most increased growth like What's Ellie. Him? Yeah, Ellie's made the biggest jump. Yeah. Um so here, let's listen to Ellie tear it up. So you can wipe off that grin. I know it's all been a pack of lies. Ooh. And I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Tonight, tonight. Oh, Lord. Well, I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. Oh, Lord. So this is something we've always said about voice play too. Voice play always seems to find a way to where when they do a cover of a song, they kind of stick. I mean, it's still different, but they stick kind of close to the original. And then the further and further you get through the song, the more intense it becomes. And like, this is, I mean, in the, in the song, of course they have that big famous drum fill. And so like, I love how they use that to take it up even a further notch from the original which is pretty cool also um i honestly forgot the Mm. bass dude i forgot how high and low he could go oh yeah like so fast oh yeah jeff's got a range yeah if you guys didn't check out our uh we did um jeff castellucci last week which video was that let me see uh, the video that came out last week was icy fire yeah, so if you guys missed that last week, it was on Friday. Be sure to go check it out. I think it was y'all but, that reacted to it, but mm. I saw some video of it was just him singing. Yeah. And all the different things he was doing. It was Yeah, and he crazy. like sings all the different. Yeah. Yeah, the Icy Fire that was out last week, it was one of those. So, which the time we're filming this for for those of you who are like the first time here, um, we usually film on Mondays and Tuesdays and we film all of our episodes ahead of time and then we edit them and then they mm-hmm. come out next week. So the video that I'm talking about that's last week, mm-hmm. when we're filming this right now, it hasn't come out yet. It'll come out this week on Friday. <laughs> I Isn't that a mind that bender? <laughs> I forgot that's how y'all did that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's hear this transition into this part. Th- was that was nice great. Though. Yeah. You and me.
Oh, that was so <laughs> wow. uh, we gotta go back and watch that. Hold that up. Was cool. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it coming in the air. Like, how did he do that? Did he have baby powder in his pocket or something? It's he probably, just reached in there and went. <laughs> it, it might be like chalk dust or something. You yeah. Know how, like, on the erasers when you're erasing a whiteboard or something. Yeah, like it, a chalkboard yeah. and then you smack the erasers yeah. together. <laughs> He might be using that. <laughs> he might be. No, that was a super cool effect. Like, the editing yeah, was, was super really cool. good. It fit really well in the mix. Like, that's cool. I can feel it coming in the air. <laughs> How could I ever forget? I can feel it all over the air tonight. Oh. I like the mix of how their voices like blend together while they're yeah. doing that. Yeah, that's huge. Like, so for for those of you who don't know, like, and he brought up a good point, right? So the the mixing or the mix, right? Me and Matt always talk about the mix. The mix is what happens in post production, right? So they'll go into the studio, they will record all their parts, and then when you have the mix, that's the producer sitting behind the board going okay we need to turn this one down a little bit add a little bit of reverb here some compression here and like add in little that. effects and stuff that's what's referred to as the mix i can't uh, do that that's too complex oh there's a lot <laughs> matt matt gets all into that um but when he says blend blend is like the premix. so this is what these guys do when they come together right so when you have a producer come in and mix and master a song they're the ones that make it sound you know really uniform and crazy right but when they do this live they don't have anybody to sit there and dial in compression and pull things off so the group it sounds really yeah good and how other voices go together yeah so so the group as a whole has to okay well i need to sing a little bit louder and or i need to sing a little bit softer i need to make sure i'm not overpowering everybody else like that's that's a mix that's one of the reasons mix. i can't do or, music i just with like a group or something mm. doing that i would mess up like the whole time <laughs> <laughs> yeah or not not a mix a blend i'm sorry but like yeah that's one of the biggest things when it comes to like playing in a band when i used to play in a band that was one of the biggest things that i had to go in and kind of teach some of them like okay we're a little hot here you need to turn your thing down here or play this a little less aggressive we did and... we did stuff like that that uh when and band and stuff mm. we would do like group sessions and yeah. make sure everybody blends well together and yeah. everything like it, it it's important for sure and it and it's something that it's a hard skill to master when you're first coming into it it takes it takes a couple years to kind of get a hold of it and um, and especially like if you work with a new group, then you have to kind of figure out how to do that with a new group. And every group's a like little how, bit different. And like how they sing or play or mm -hmm. do something. Yeah, and, then, and there's different people, and so you know their voice works differently than somebody else's voice, or it's you know they may play a guitar a little bit differently than somebody else. It's kind of like that in like everything, pretty much like mm -hmm. in sports and music, yeah. all like teaching, all sorts mm -hmm. of stuff. Like you have to make sure. Like, people know what y'all are doing and yeah. stuff and make sure y'all do it good. Exactly, exactly. So, well, let's go ahead and finish this one out. We're pretty close. And then, uh, yeah, let's, this this big part is huge. I love this. Oh, my life.
like how they end that. <laughs> right? That was super cool. Yeah. I do want to say one thing, though. Yeah, it's we'll let we'll let their Patreon things yeah. go out here. Uh, shout out to their patrons. If you guys haven't checked out our Patreon, be sure to go check it out. Uh, In the Air Tonight, available on Spotify and Apple Music. I do want to say one thing, though. Mm. For some odd reason, I was okay, getting... Make sure you're yeah, if, right like, up in it. There you go. Um, if like Michael Jackson was still alive and like uh, and was like doing like the newer versions of songs, mm. for some reason that gives me like a vibe of what he did of what he would do. Oh, like the way they did this yeah. one. Yeah, there there was a couple parts like the the last little portion of it almost felt like it wasn't quite a syncopated rhythm, but like where the normal one is done, done, done. Dun, like the beat would go like that. Yeah. This one almost kind of felt like a da 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 towards the end. Instead of like quarter notes, it's half notes. Uh, well, it would be uh, it would be like if it was half notes before, then they switched it to Quarters. quarter notes. Yeah, and filled it up, which, which it's still the same tempo, but it's just the di- mm-hmm. the accent of the beats a little bit different, um, which I thought was really really cool. Yeah, I could see that for sure. So, any other thoughts on this one? Not really. <laughs> Not really. What What do you give it uh, uh, for a hat rating? Backwards hats. Backwards hat. What? Yeah. Yeah. So we always do uh, zero out of five, right? Between zero and five backwards hats. How good was the video? Mm. Can I do like halves and stuff? Yeah, I, I've done like four and a half and five. I was about to say like a four and a half, maybe. Four and a half. Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. I I'm I think I think I'm gonna go with four and a half. Out of five backwards hats on that too. The video was really good. The mix was really good. Mm-hmm. Their blend that was a good catch. Their blend was really good. Yeah. Um, the only, I, I I feel like Jay Nunn was there, but like is that the beatboxer? No, Jay Nunn was the uh, the guy with the red suit jacket. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I I just feel like he didn't really have a part that stands out. Uh, yeah. like Unlike norm- the other ones. Yeah, normally when they have a guest on, they have this like verse that's like Big where they just, just go then, yeah pretty much. yeah and i mean um so i i would have liked to see which i know you have to work within the confines of the song and stuff i mean you can't just rewrite the entire thing yeah um, that would just but, mess the whole thing up yeah yeah but i i would have liked to see jay nunn because i know he's capable of it just rip a little bit more on that yeah. um but yeah four and a half out of five backwards hats uh now you remember at the end right no, the thing not really. part of the Notification gang, you remember that? I'm trying to remember, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, here's how it's going to go. If you guys enjoyed this video as much as we did, be sure to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, click the bell, become part of the notification, notification gang. gang. There you go. Now I remember. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you all next time. Bow. Oh, yeah, and then I got to do the crazy mat hand because I'm mat today. <laughs> That was a good one. Yeah. Ooh. What does that mean? The little <laughs> muted thing down there. Right here. Uh, so, like, when we do live streams, yeah. we'll run the microphones through that instead oh. of, like, instead right of now. Like this. Right now, we're running the microphones through this program. <laughs>